All right, our last group. These guys move the hand at the wrist joint, and some of them move the digits. Here's the good news. We are not doing attachments for any of these guys. Some of the attachments are cool, and I get really excited because, like, I've learned some of the attachments, and it makes me happy, and I want to brag because I know some stuff. But I'm not, you will have to identify these guys on our cadavers. So you, you will have to orient yourself to where they are, which that's plenty. And then you do have to know their major action. However, here's the incredible thing. What is the action of flexor carpi radialis? It's flexing the hand at the wrist joint, carpi at the wrist joint, and it's flexing. So it's a flexor. It's on the flexor surface. I'm flexing whatever you, why don't I just do this? Oh, or like that. I'm ready to go bye-bye now. Not yet. And which side is it on? It's on the flexor surface of your forearm, <laughs> and it's on the radial side, which means when you're in standard anatomical position, it is on your lateral side. That's it. It flexes, and it's on the radial side. Now, one thing. If you put a muscle and attach it to a carpal and attach it to the radial side, and then you contract that muscle. You, I can see flexion of the wrist, especially since it's a flexor. But what else is going to happen if it's on the radial side? And this might take a bit for you to visualize this, but you get radial deviation. So you get flexion and, again, of the hand at the wrist joint and radial deviation. Radial deviation, I feel like we've probably talked about this, is nothing more than, let's see, radial deviation is abduction of the hand of the palm at the wrist joint, and that's facilitated by flexor carpi radialis. Flexor carpi ulnaris. It, it really is. It's the flexor surface. It flexes the wrist on the ulnar side, so it's on the medial side, and it's going to flex and do what? Ulnar deviation. And ulnar deviation is deviating this thing toward the ulnar side, which is basically a deduction, moving toward the midline. Um, flexors. Digitorum. Who's being flexed now? My digits are being flexed. So now I'm crossing phalange joints, and my digits are flexing to do what? They're flexing what? My digits are flexing, and there's nothing else to do if your digits are flexing. The attachment has to be on my digits if I'm getting digital flexion, and then the attachment also has to come up somewhere else, and the muscles actually are in the forearm. Um, the flexors digitorum run down the middle of the forearm. So you can imagine flexor carpi radialis is on the flexor surface on the lateral side. Flexors digitorum run down the middle. Flexor carpi ulnaris runs down the medial side. So I've got three muscles on the flexor surface, and I know exactly where they are. Done. What do you think is going on with the extensor surface? The exact same thing. Seriously, the extensor carpi ulnaris is on the extensor surface, so now we're going to extend the hand at the wrist joint, and it's on the ulnar side, so it's medial. In fact, um, I said that this guy does, oh, geez. I said that, uh, what did I say? Nobody knows what I said. Oh, I said ulnar deviation happens because of flexor carpi ulnaris. Extensor carpi ulnaris and flexor carpi ulnaris work together to carry out ulnar deviation. 
Who works with flexor carpi radialis to carry out radial deviation? Oh, you know it's true. I mean, don't you always want to carry out radial deviation with someone? Partner in crime, of course. Extensors digitorum are found in the middle between my extensor carpi ulnaris and my extensor carpi radialis. Carpi's wrist and digitorums are fingers, and we're extending. That's it. This is easier. I'm not even going to show you pictures because you'll look at the pictures and you'll be like, oh, the light. I'm dying. I'm melting. Don't melt. When we get into our cadavers and we can set them out and look at um, the muscles, it, it's really straightforward to um, orient yourself and then label them out based on their location. And now their names tell you everything about their action. Holy credinoles. <sighs> this was a huge accomplishment, huge. And I hope you are now, um, I don't know what I hope you're doing, but I hope I am asleep in not very much longer. Okay. Bye, guys.